And here we go. We are underway with our non-pro doubles finals here at Shark Tank 2023. Darian Ackaby and Phil Glomsky are your current king seat holders. Dustin Flannery and Jacob Womack have done a magnificent job coming through that loser side, playing really well, besting Eric Blackledge and Joe Hildebrand in our last match. So we will see how this one turns out. In the background, we do have... Uh, The singles going on. Of course, this is Phil. Phil, a very tall individual. I ran out there with a chair and said, dang it, now i got to lift my camera up. And it's a typical joke here between me and Phil, and I'm sure everybody else that Phil deals with <laughs> on a daily basis. But Phil and Darian could be a uh, team... They, they are proven to be a team to beat here. As, uh, well, Phil's definitely one of those guys that uh, can hang and bang. He's part of that Milwaukee Monsters four-man team event at Whammo, so we've seen him before. And then Darian was a part of that Booyah Cup, and he really surprised a lot of individuals with that L-style shootout score that he was able to post. Put in a, a good seated position for himself. He really just kind of surprised everybody. He was like, oh, okay, Darian could be the one to watch here. <laughs> Dustin taking just a moment to kind of settle himself in here. Knows he needs a big score. That, that's good, but is it enough? Filthy kid possibly hit one big triple and take a look. I'd be keen for that. to not take a look at all. He just stays down. We'll take a look at our singles brackets as well. Looks like Paul Schwinneman bested Johnny Lackey to be in the king seat match. Oh. And it looks like we're stagnant, so Jacob Womack still has to play his first round matchup against Jimmy Boone. So we're going to be a little bit staggered on those brackets. Which is not the best of uh, deals there, but it, it, it happens. We all know that. Over on the non-pro side. Kind of starting off pretty well here as well. Which is kind of funny because... This is a non-pro, and uh, Jake is playing in the pro for the 0-1. Hmm. I think that's just pure election, I'm guessing, that he decided to do that. But, uh, yeah, we do have some matches that are kind of stagnant on that side, but I did want to just mention that as we continue our coverage today. But back to this one. Mickey Mouseki, as we now consider him, <laughs> or Glomsky. <laughs> if you missed that interview with Steve Hilger and, and Phil, definitely one to go keep your eye on or attempt to watch. See Darian, no real movement at all other than that arm. He has a really, really fantastic stroke. 
And how about that? A big fist pump as Phil was giving him the big arm in the background of going up, going up, and he and he manages to put it away. <laughs> so we got a uh, Polish individual in the chat. Uh, Merrick, I believe it is. He put something in Polish. I was able to put it in a translator real quick. And he said, uh, and this, tr this is translated in English. He said, no one will tell me that every nation has typical features. I look at the guy, and he looks like my neighbor. Then I look at the name, and it's Glomsky. So he's pretty much saying that Phil has the same look to his uh, neighbor so pretty cool pretty cool and thanks for joining us from Poland we appreciate that we hope you're doing well Sebastian Biowetski an individual that we've had uh, on our stream in the past on well, my stream on quarantine darts that was more that that side of things no we did feature Sebastian for that WDF virtual cup I forgot about that so Biowetski is a great shot from Poland See, we got the numbers going here. Two, uh, 520 plays 575. Flannery's got to attack these 15s here. Down by 55 points. Got to stay right there. He's only able to find 60 and put it on the board. So really, Phil can come up here 117 and take out the 15s if he so chooses, but I'm guessing he's going to want more than that for taking the move because that's too easy to come back for. He took a shot after the single or the triple 17 and goes right back and. Just the three mark is all he's going to come up with. For a triple, not finding it. Now you got to think: Do you take your chance or not? Do you take the opportunity? I think you do. He elects not to. I mean, just a single 17 needed. I think you just take the stab at the 15s. Oh no, it would be difficult to do that with with. I'm sorry. He, I thought he had the two 15s. That's a difficult play. I do agree. That That's hit or miss. Do you go for the 15s or do you stay on the 17s? Probably the right choice stay on the 17s, to be honest. Phil, how about this move? Going ahead and trying to open up the 16 is the right choice, and of, co of course, a couple bounce outs means that he's uh, now back against the wall. Womack and Flannery should 
be able to round out this leg. Should is not should is not always achieved, but I feel with with Jacob here, he should no, just the two sixteens. I guess that just goes to show you you never can say too too early. I mean a big triple in the sixteens and he takes a look. And he will. He has to. Take the look. Wow, that just goes to show you, even with the best players, or the player that's playing what you feel is the best, just could potentially, unfortunately, a flight ricochet, or just when you think you have it, you just misplace it. It happens. Wow. A turning moment here. And that could be... When you, when you really think about it, that could mess with the mind here of Dustin and Jacob. This could really, that could potentially be the biggest moment in this match. Phil needing three for the win. If not, they're going to get another look. Ooh, is it tricky? Do you try to split the uprights? And he does. And you heard a big yell in the background. There's some support here for the Acabee team. As you can see, I believe the brother, who's a big pool player, is in attendance, as well as Pops and a couple other ones. I believe Mom's over there giving some knuckles now. So a lot of support for Acabee. And Glomsky. I wanted to mention the brother because he's an avid uh, avid pool player. It's nice to see him in attendance and get the opportunity to, you know, watch the watch the brother in action as well as handle some of your business on the uh, on the billiards table. Look at this from Darian. Darian Ackaby with the white horse to lead him off. There it is, a slap from the brother, some love from Jason Tomlinson. Garrett Rakowski as well. We are animated here in Kansas City. We're just outside of Kansas City in Shawnee, Kansas. Like I said, maybe that one single 16 could have been the real big factor here. Could have messed with the minds. Could have uh, put that uh, determination and that confidence and set it aside for the team of Jacob Womack and Dustin Flannery. And Phil just going to work. Put in another. Put in another. You go 16s or 15s here, Phil. No hesitation, my guy. He may be going back up. I think he's going to elect to go back to the 17 or the 18s. Probably the smarter decision. Yep, going back up. And he gets it. So even after a little bit of time, he collects and hits it. Probably the smarter move to take the doubles route or the take the more points route, sorry. Keep up with perfection here. Or did I just commentate or curse us? Yep, sure did. Shouldn't have said a dang word. But that is magnificent. They've only missed one now. In a pairs match. In a pairs match, ladies and gentlemen. We just saw Stowe Bunce in a singles cricket match go one dart from perfect in a leg. But man, somebody come up here and hit a double and a single and we got another one. For the win. Three bowls.
Oh, outside it goes. Won't be today. We can put this one right next to it. Knows it's a little difficult task. There he says, hit it again. And he gets it. Massive shots here, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, it's a 6.75 for Phil and Darian as they're able to capitalize and take this final, missing two darts. Other than that, they were hitting triples the whole leg. Congrats to those two individuals, Darian and Phil Glomsky, as they will win the title.